Ba? Yung kaibigan ng ate ko, sino sa ospital? Ano daw, sumasakit, sobrang sumasakit daw yung chan niya. Tapos sabi nila, Uy, okay ka lang? Uh, Oo, oh, 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 naman. Ano ulit sinabi mo? Yun nga, palagi daw, ano, palagi daw sumasakit yung chan niya. Tapos ano, hindi daw siya kumakain ng gulay. Tapos lagi siya kumakain sa hepalane daw. Tapos ano, gusto, lagi daw siya umiinom ng soft drinks. Grabe naman eh, Pris. Kapag yun na ako kanina pa, hindi mo naman ako isa. Okay, 
Removal of the appendix, called appendectomy, is performed when appendicitis is suspected. Right lower abdominal pain, fever, and elevated white blood cell count are common symptoms and signs of appendicitis, which usually occurs when a blockage develops between the appendix and the intestine. This leads to infection, swelling, and distension. If the appendix is not removed, it can lead to a life-threatening perforation or rupture. The only treatment for appendicitis is appendectomy, which is almost always performed on an emergency basis. Newer laparoscopic techniques require only tiny keyhole incisions or puncture wounds, which generally result in a shorter recovery period. Before your surgery, an intravenous line will be started. Appendectomies are done under general anesthesia, which will put you to sleep for the duration of the operation. A breathing tube will be temporarily inserted through your mouth and into your throat to help you breathe during the operation. A catheter may also be placed in your bladder to drain your urine. An uncomplicated laparoscopic appendectomy usually takes between 20 and 30 minutes. To gain access to your appendix, your surgeon will use sharp instruments called trocars to create three small holes or ports through your abdominal wall. These ports are usually located at your navel or umbilicus and in the upper right and lower left quadrants of your abdomen. Carbon dioxide gas will then be pumped through the umbilical port to puff up your abdomen so its contents can be viewed more easily. Next, your surgeon will insert the laparoscope through the umbilical port. Images from its camera are projected onto a video monitor in the operating room. Your surgeon will carefully examine the inside of your abdomen, confirming that your appendix is red, swollen, and needs removal. At this point, your surgeon will pass surgical instruments through the other two ports, grasp the appendix, separate it from the intestine, drop it into a specimen bag, and remove the specimen bag through one of the ports. After your appendix has been safely removed, your surgeon will instill warm, sterile salt water through one of the ports into the abdomen to cleanse the abdominal cavity and remove any traces of infection. The salt water is then suctioned out. Before removing the laparoscope, your surgeon will take one final look around for areas of bleeding or other damage. When the laparoscope is removed, a port valve is left in place briefly to allow all the carbon dioxide to escape from the abdomen. Finally, the keyhole incisions are closed with sutures or staples and covered with bandages. At the conclusion of the surgery, your breathing tube and catheter will be removed and you will be taken to the recovery area for monitoring where you will be given pain medication as needed. When you are able to drink liquids, your intravenous line will be removed. Most patients can leave the hospital within 24 hours. Bale, nakalagay po sa CBC yung ma'am, eh, mataas ang WBC at neutrophils nyo. At doon naman po sa ultrasound, may nakita po na density or localized distension of the bowel sa right lower quadrant of the abdomen po. So, so, confirm ko lang po ulit ma'am ha, pinirmahan niyo po yung informed consent dahil naiintindihan niyo po at malino po sa inyo lahat ng procedures na gagawin. 
Ma'am April Cindy Vidal. Yes po. Huwag po kayong mag-alala, ma'am. Uh, magiging madali naman po ang operation mo. Within one to two days po, pwede na po kayong makalabas pagkatapos. procedures sa inyo kanina is appendectomy. Yun po yung inalis po namin yung appendix po ninyo. Uh, dahil may nakita po kami yung fecal stool, eh, yun po yung uh, dumi po ninyo na hindi nyo po na ilalabas. Ay, naperahan po kayo para, para hindi po lumala yung sakit ninyo. At kapag pumutok po yung appendix po ninyo, eh, baka kumalat pa po sa buong katawan ninyo. Kaya, inaperahan po kayo. So, Ma'am, kamusta po yung pakiramdam niyo po ngayon? Medyo okay, okay na po yung bukabuhod po na. Hmm. Mabuti naman po kung ganun. Magkahinga na lang po kayo, ma'am. Saan po yung mga kasama niyo po? Dito, sa sino po? Yung mga kasama niyo? Okay. Hello ma'am, kamusta na po kayo ma'am? Okay na po. Ah, uh, mga pagkakakita ko po nung sa vital signs niyo, okay na naman po at mabilis po ma-effect ko yung painkiller. Oo oh, ma'am, salamat. Ah, sige. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Sisi, ikaw na bahala sa kanya. Yes, Doc. Ma'am, good morning po. Bali po, babalik po kayo dito mga 5 or 7 days after po nitong check-up na to. And titignan po natin yung tahin nyo if magaling na. And bukas po, ma'am, sir po kayo ng clear liquid tire. And after one week po, pwede po kayo kumain ng mga... Ng, normal. Pero, kahit po tayo ng maraming gulag o gas at mga pagkain mayamang sa fiber, para po di tayo mahirapang dumumi. Tsaka, ano po, hanggat maaari po, ibawasan po natin yung soft drinks, alcohol, drinks like red horse po. Para po, hindi na po tayo maano. Yun po. Yun po. Salamat po. May mga tanong pa po ba kayo, ma? Wala na po. Ay, nurse, may tanong po ako. Ano po yun, ma'am? Kailan po ako babalik sa dati ko na ako? After two weeks po. Sa ngayon po, bago kayo magbuhat, magbuhat ng mga mabibigat, ma'am. Okay na po ba? Apo. Sige po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Salamat.